Hey y'all, Makai Muse here with another Untold Stories episode. A little change of scenery today. We're out here in Atlanta at 680 The Fan. I got a special guest with me, Javon Bullard. Hey, yeah, what's going on with y'all people, man? <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all boys been with him. Definitely wanted to get him on camera, ask him some questions. So I know you're from Millersville. You went to high school in Millersville, right? Correct? Sure. How is it like out there? I never heard of it until I seen your locker. Like I looked up at your locker, it's like Millersville. I never heard of that. Yeah, <laughs> How so is that? Like, it's like for y'all that don't know, it's Middle Georgia, um, Four Seven Eight, baby. Don't forget that. Um, yeah, so it's like maybe thirty minutes from Macon. Um, just growing up. Um, so like I was born originally, like my people are originally from Edenton, Georgia, um, but we moved to Millersville. Um, uh, it's like a small town. I like to say it's like a really a smaller Athens. Um, Probably not the best place to grow up, but you know what I'm saying? It's my home, I love it. Uh, they made me the person I am today. Yeah, definitely so. Like, you probably, like, everyone probably loves you when you go back home. And since you said it's like a small Athens, a little small yeah. town or whatever. And now, you know, we came in together in the same class. I came in the summer, you came early in Roll League, of course. So I've seen you progress. And what would you say, like, helped you most progress over the time from your freshman year to now? Uh, really just following the leadership that was set before me. Um, I had a lot of guys to look up to coming in. I had a lot of guys to help mold me into the player that I am today. And really, y'all boys just pushing me, you know. I feel like we go up against the best, you know what I'm saying, competition in the country every day, each and every day. So really just y'all pushing me and um, trusting in myself, believing in God, and really just trusting the process that, you know what I'm saying, to show people I am who I say I am. Yeah, trusting the process is like one of the hardest ones. Sometimes you get frustrated if things ain't going your way, but you just gotta trust in God. Okay. So if you can get three words to attribute your success, what would you say? Uh, patience. Um, gratitude. And work. That's a good three. Yeah, that's really it. Man. That's a great three. Now I know you won back-to-back -back defense MVP on our Natty run last year for the playoff in the Natty game. What was your favorite moments from them games? Uh, uh, I ain't gonna lie, those, those games were kind of surreal. Um, just kind of being up on the podium, man, like as a kid, you kind of dream of, like, dream of stuff like that, that you know, so you dream of things like that happening. And for like, for it to happen and like, to take place like right in that moment and to be up there with, you know what I'm saying, Stetson in the cold, like, Coach Smart, man, like all, and just look at the fans and things like that. Like, really just see all your work that you put in over the years. You know what I'm saying? Finally come into place and finally, you know, show, actually show up. It's a surreal moment, man. I'm, I'm so blessed to be and so blessed and fortunate to be in the position I am today, man. And it, like I said, it's just a surreal moment. Uh, like, if anybody could feel how I was feeling in those, you know what I'm saying, those moments, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I wish everybody could, cause like that that's a heartfelt moment right there, man. Like looking up in the stands, seeing your mama, seeing your pops, your your sister, yeah. your brother, like all those people that, you know what I'm saying, poured into you, things like that, man. Like it, it's surreal, man. I'm extremely blessed. Yeah, I feel like it was a little bit different than the first natty. Like the first natty was surreal too, but like when you contribute more to the team, yeah. It it's a different thing. Like it's one of those moments in your life, like it's one of my top moments in my yeah, life for sure. For I know. Sure, man. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like last, I mean, 2021, like that was the year, like I'm not gonna lie, like I kind of felt like, yeah, I'm, you know, some part of the team, I got the ring, but I felt like that wasn't necessarily my ring. Like I kind of just inherited that yeah. ring, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 them guys, you know what I'm saying, played their butts off, but that year, 2022 season, like I felt like that was our ring. Like we, we worked our butts off to get that ring, man, and you know what I'm saying? We made history in the CFP era, so. So, has your time at Georgia been everything you could dream of? Just opening on, expanding on what I just asked you before. Uh, I mean, I guess you could say that. Um, I feel, you know, what I'm saying it's still being written. So, like, I got a lot of things that I still want to do. Um, um, just, but as far as like right now, man, I I couldn't really, you know, what I'm saying dream for a better start. Um, my family's in a good position. I'm happy. Um, good spirit, like um, good emotions, things like that. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy where I am today. I feel like that was the best decision I ever made to come here. So yeah, I'm pretty happy where I am. 
<laughs> yeah, that's definitely a, a powerful decision for me too. Like it, it impacted my life like more than I thought it would. Like Facts. choosing a school, like you just like when it's recruiting, you just like oh, like this school has something to offer. This school has something to offer. But then when you get here, it like changes your whole life. Yeah, it changes you as a person. Like you learn so much as like growing up as a man. Like Coach Smart has taught me so much. The whole staff, it just going through trials and tribulations, you learn a lot. Facts. That's what I love about the game so much, bro. It's like. It teach you about life. Like people, you know what I'm saying, yeah, it's fun, you know what I'm saying, we playing a game, it's still, you know what I'm saying, so called a game, but I feel like like this sport is so like valuable to life lessons. It gives you so many life lessons, man. It teaches you discipline, respect, you know what I'm saying, it gives you a, a, a schedule of things that you have to follow, like, you know what I'm saying? Going up under leadership, you're not gonna be a leader all the time. Going up under like like just certain things and certain like opportunities that, that the sport presents to you, like it just build character in people. So I, I love it, man. Like I said, that was the best decision I ever made was to come here because like this school in general and the people that they brought into my life really changed my life for the better. Yeah, life changing people around us, the staff, everyone around us is like top of the line. Thanks. I can never think the staff and everyone enough. So if you had to switch sides for like a day or like so let's say a game, if you had to switch sides of the ball for a game, play a position on offense, what position do you think you could hope contribute most to the team? Oh, shit. Easily receiver, but I'm going crazy. <laughs> I'm going stupid. I'm talking about I'm going crazy. What's the stat line? Stat. Who am I quarterback? You know, it's a little battle. You know what? Okay, okay, you okay, know. okay, okay, okay. So, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter who my favorite. It don't even matter who the quarterback is, because SEC opponent, I'm going eight catches, 123, two tutties. Two tutties. Two tutties. Two tutties. I'm going fed. Y'all don't want to see me at the receiver, but I <laughs> get ugly, bro. I'm telling you. You getting at that return a little bit? Nah, nah. I ain't, I ain't signed up for that. I ain't signed up for the return. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, got that one. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, a little wide out. You know what I'm saying? Right receiver. I'm, I'm lined up. Might put me in that slot a little bit. I'm going for, I'm going for two tutties. Easy. 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 So, what, what home game are you looking forward to most this season, man? Uh, the first one for sure. I definitely um wanted a night game. Night game. Yeah, I definitely wanted a night game. Just that atmosphere, man. Uh, that was special. I remember uh, we played South Carolina at home. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. That 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 game it, it was rocking. Like, it was, you know what I'm saying. Uh, really, I would love to be real, but like, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of love playing at home. I don't yeah. really like traveling like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't really like traveling like that. I would love them, man. Um, Old Miss is another one. Kentucky, like you know yeah. what I'm saying. Always SEC opponents. I got you know you gotta love it. Love it. I love it. I feel like we the best conference in the, you know what I'm saying the country. So like those games are always um, dog fault, um, really. So I'm definitely looking forward to those. Yeah, those SEC games are different. Like it's like you are playing the best of the best, best every best week. Best it's like a gauntlet week, when man. you get to the SEC play. It's like, like a gauntlet, you body hurting. No, like it's it's a different mindset that you have. Like you got to tap into. Not to say that we don't tap into a mindset every time we play somebody, but SEC, like your mind has to be strictly like on whoever you playing because you know SEC like an upset can happen in any day. Hey, which SEC stadium are you most wanting to play at this season? Like, what's the most lit SEC stadium Tennessee. besides us? Tennessee. Tennessee, for sure. Yeah. Describe the atmosphere when you went out there last uh, year. So I was hurt that that game. I ain't play, but I was still there. But um, just the atmosphere, man. Uh, you know, it's a great team, great fans. So they're gonna bring the atmosphere. They're gonna bring the energy, and. You know, you gotta love it. That's what we play. That's what we came to Georgia for, to be in atmospheres like that. So, definitely looking forward to playing them boys this year in their stadium, for sure. Let's take the topic a little bit off of football. I was just talking to you about music. Who is your favorite artist? Or give me a top three that you listen to most. Top three, just in general? In general, top three. Top three in general. Um, young boy. Young boy. Uh, it's one of them. Like, is it just rap or just artist, period? Artist, period. Young boy, um, Anthony Hamilton. Ooh. Okay. And I'll probably go with Lil Baby. I got a little bit of variation in there. Got a little variation in there. 
Oh yeah, man, got to. I can't listen to rap all day. Like I ain't gonna lie, I can't. Yeah. It ain't good for the soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just gotta play some. Yeah, some I gotta music. mellow it down, man. But yeah, thank you guys for having me at the Six Eighty The Fan. Another Untold Stories episode. Thank, appreciate Javon for coming out. Appreciate you for having Let me. Let us bro. know who you'd like to see next on our next episode. Go dogs. Go dogs.